AFTV Lee, um, a really, a really shocking defeat today, especially on the back of the fact that you know, you know, Liverpool had lost their game. So it really gave us a big opportunity today, win the game, go to the top of the league, and keep it all in our hands. But of course now. <laughs> the, the the big winners are Man City, yeah. and um, it was a poor it was a poor performance, especially in that second half. Listen, it was in our hands before the game. Before the game, it's not no more. That's it. That's that's the end of it now. Like you know, that's that's before going about Arsenal. Give credit to Aston Villa today. I thought mm. they was absolutely outstanding, outstanding away performance that was. Like mm. McGinney midfield today. Wanted it more than any of our midfield players or any of our players. And you have to give credit where credit's due. That's twice we've played them, twice we haven't scored to us, twice they've done us. And credit to them, I thought they was outstanding today. Want to talk about Arsenal? Piss poor. And I'll tell you what's hurt me more than anything today. Not, not losing and everything, no, that's bad enough. When I see players of Aston Villa going in for 50-50 tackles, 60-40 in their favour at times and coming out with a ball. That hurt today, seeing that players pulling out tackles, not pulling out tackles, losing their battles, desire, hunger from Aston Villa to get Champions League football than us to win the Premier League. And that, that, is, that is the reality of it, the reality of it today. Tough one to take, tough one to take. Didn't deserve anything from that today. Didn't yeah. deserve to win the game. I mean, the, the first off, it was, you know, a lot of chances for Arsenal. Yeah. They did have chances. 14 shots in, in, in the first half, but what, what happened in the second half? I thought they'd come out with a response because they were they did get a big reminder when Ollie Watkins hit the uh, hit the post in the first half. They hit the but, bar as well in the second yeah. half, like you know, like if you mm. if you be honest, they were the better team. No, they were the better team, they definitely. They say they're the better team, and, and you have to you have to you know hold it, mm. you know, and, and you know Trossard today come in chance to score should have scored. I know Martinez say, but it's, you know it's a guilty chance misses it. Um, listen, uh, you know, everybody's given Mikel credit and I've I'm, I'm been one that's been giving him credit today. He completely got it wrong today, you know, and that has to be said, you know, the, the, the subs, not so much the subject, the team, we, we all said it before, we weren't happy with the team. Like, you know, Lee, Lee, Lee said in the studio, but I'm going to say it now, weren't happy with that. I, I, I felt it was a little bit like, how can I say, like, you know, keeping everybody happy. Mm. Keeping everybody happy, like you know, Havertz has been doing fantastically well up top. You either play him up there or not. I, I, get, I get why he tried to do it, but the players let him down today. Jesus today was fantastic on on Tuesday night. Was poor today. Trossard was poor. You know, Shinchenko was poor. Yes. But at the end of it, at the end of it, we played two games, two games, Tuesday and today, where the pressure's on. I don't care what anybody says. Big, big games. And we fouled, defensively miserable. You know, conceded four goals in two games. And at the end of it, you have to hold your hands up and say, look, when it comes to the pressure, the pressure was on today to get the result. And we haven't done it, Rob. We haven't done it. And uh, as hard as it is to take now, like, you know, I, I didn't care what Manchester City were going to do in the next six games or whatever. It didn't matter. It didn't matter because like, as long as we won our games, that was all that mattered. Mm. And it's now, you've got to rely on... You've got to rely on, I don't know, what teams they've got, Fulham, to go and get a result. You've got, uh, who else they got, Spurs, who else ever they've got. We've got to rely on other teams. When at uh, 4.30 today, we had to rely on us. Mm. Rely on what we had to do. And we failed. The manager failed by, by tactics and whatever. The players failed as well, like, you know. And I'm going to be really honest. The fans failed as well today, as well, like because we wasn't up for that like we was on on Tuesday night. I don't know why, and I'm I'm going to say it now. You know, I go to the away games, everybody laughing and singing about clearing out stadiums and all that like. You know, where was our fans today? Mm. We played in that last five minutes. As soon as Ollie Watkins scored, we played in front of an half-empty stadium. One poor result, one poor performance, and that's what is that what the players get, and is that what they deserve? I don't think so. Mm. I don't think so, you know what I mean, like, yeah, it was a bad day at the office today, like, you know, didn't play well, like, I'm as disappointed as anybody, like, you know, if you want my, you know, hand on my heart of days, you think we're winning the league, we ain't got no chance now, because City ain't going to drop no points. Well, listen. <laughs> yeah, you just, can say that. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to give a bit of hope here, yeah, right? Yeah, of course right? you right? I'll get that. And I have to, right? And, you know, I mean, a few weeks ago, City were in third place, City were a few points behind, and Liverpool were top, and then people were saying they got the easiest running, I mean... It's still about the games in front of us, isn't it? What I see today, what I see today, 
and I'm going to bring in Liverpool as this is out. I see three teams over the weekend, all got home games. One know exactly how to go about it and what to do. Manager uh, knows exactly who to leave out and who not to. And the other two found wanting, right? And I mean found wanting. Klopp ain't got the players that Arteta's got, by the way. Like we're a better team than Liverpool. So uh, um, to, for me today, Arteta. And Arsenal. Well, and we had Arsenal. the toughest game out of those three teams this weekend, didn't we? Yeah, you can say that, mm. but like also they're in, they're, they're, they've got Europe. Still they've got Europe. Like, you know, I, I looked at them today. I looked at, look, for instance, you know, I love Declan Rice. But today you could see him was flagging. He wasn't the, the energetic self that he has been like, you know. I see their players come back from where they played Thursday. No, no we're near as difficult. We've, we've, we've played Champions League and we've played Europa League. We as fans have been in the Europa League games and, and Champions League games. Mm. And, and I don't care as a fan, you, you can tell it's a different uh, mm. occasion. It's Ranger and everything like that, so you have to accept that. So, not, that wasn't there for the taking, but I look at it and I think, right, OK, if you're going to make changes today, make the right ones. Make the right players, you know, the players that are going to need a rest and things like that. Like Now, you know, they've had rests and everything like that, but I, I see today... Declan Rice ch trying to chase back and he wasn't quite there. I, I, I see Odegaard not quite there today, like, you know. And and the and, and the two centre-halves, when it's mattered, oh, look, I've loved them. I've actually said, you know, mm. that they'd probably be in one of the all-time Arsenal teams. They won't be. Neither will ever get into the, the best Arsenal team ever until, when it matters, you defend properly. And they didn't today. They didn't again today. I don't know what happened with the phone. I'm thinking it must be offside. Like, you know what I mean? That ain't how you defend, Robbie. Mm. You know, at the end of it, you could still get something out of that game. Like, you know, when you defend like that, you know, that's criminal. I don't care that Ollie Watkins has gone through and everything like that. That's criminal. I, and another thing I didn't like today about Arsenal was so many times caught offside. Laziness. Mm. Oh, Jesus, Laziness. Of the way we was getting back on and all that, like, you know, just little things like that mm. today. And you can turn around and go, oh, it's this and this, that. I believe it is the pressure of today. Mm. And I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to say, you, know, you might think I'm silly when I say this. If Liverpool would have won today, Arsenal would have won. <laughs> right? I'm That's telling you, the pressure today of that result cost, cost, like, I felt that there was a different atmosphere in the, you know, we was all celebrating. Uh, Liverpool winning today, you know, losing. Uh, sorry, losing, mm. yeah, without doing what we had to do. That, that, that was the thing today, you know what I mean? It's, we, we thought what we was going to come here today and just win. And it ain't going to be like that. And I can tell you this now, Manchester City won't be like that. They're, they're, they're a little, I don't think Manchester, if you say to me now who's the better team, I think Arsenal's still the better team this season. But they've got no how, they know how to deal with it and they've got no how to go. And we're going to have to learn from that. I thought Arsenal would have learned from last season's pain. They obviously haven't. They obviously haven't because today I see what I see last season. But the biggest thing for me today, and I'll leave it on this, was that I felt that Aston Villa players wanted Champions League football more than we wanted the Premier League. And that, that, that's the thing that's hurt me today, like, you know, and that's the thing that I'll go home today and, and say. And, and uh, I, I think because of the, the, the Bayern Munich game, and I, I still say that he's got one eye on that on, on, mm. because of a couple of decisions, because when you look at it today, you, you have to say, why is Jorginho not playing in there? Why have you changed that? The reason he's changed that because he's thinking of the Bayern Munich game, and, like, you know, it's cost us.